And don't take it the wrong way. I'm not picking on women. Guys lie on dates too, right, fellas? We'll lie on a date, right? But we lie because we have to. Yeah. <laughs> what? The truth may set you free, but it's not going to get you laid. You can't be honest all the time because women are smart and they ask tricky questions. Yeah, tricky shit. Like, what do you like to do? <laughs> what am I going to tell you the truth? I can't be like, what do I like to do? Well, uh, I like to get high and play Nintendo. <laughs> It's as cool as I get right there, everybody. Big dork right here. I know I'm a dork. Look at this shit, for real. I know this is bad. Look at this. I look like Steve from Blue's Clues. <laughs> okay. There it is. Okay. I had to say it, right? Nobody said anything yet, but I saw you guys looking at me this whole time. This whole area just staring up here like, I know this guy. <laughs> saw you guys looking at me. Steve from Blue's Clues, man. Yeah, that's not a good look, looking like Steve from Blue's Clues, man. That's bad. You know what that means? I got to pay every parking ticket, every speeding ticket I ever get, man. You can't go to jail <laughs> looking like Steve from Blue's Clues. <laughs> yeah, it'll be mail time all the time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I like how this crowd gets jokes in sections. <laughs> like, you guys get it first, and then it goes up here, and these guys are like, okay, I guess so. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, you guys are fun. <laughs> so I've had weird experiences, too, since I'm single now. I've had weird experiences, like, uh, not proud of this. I've done this a lot in my life, but I met a girl at a concert, and I kind of had a one-night stand. And ladies, I don't understand the etiquette of the one-night stand. I gave her a T-shirt to sleep in. Whenever she left my house, she kept my shirt. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and is, I'm asking right now, is that normal? Like, is that like a trophy? You know what I mean? <laughs> and don't get me wrong, she can keep the shirt. I mean, it just makes me feel dirty, man. Right? Because now I'm like, how many shirts does she have? <laughs> right? In my mind, she's at home making a quilt. <laughs> she's like, gather around, kids. Story time. You know what I mean? That's weird. That's awkward for everyone. I had weird experiences, man. <laughs> the other day, I pulled my wallet out on a date to pay for something, and the girl I was with, she noticed I had my social security card in there. And she goes, you just carry that around with you everywhere you go? You can't carry that around. Somebody's going to take that, and they're going to steal your identity. And I was like, please, God, let somebody steal my identity. <laughs> and she goes, you don't understand, Matt. Somebody's going to take that and open up lines of credit in your name. I was like, shit, that's what I try to do. <laughs> she did have some good advice, though. She did. She had good advice. She said I'm supposed to uh, get a firebox and put all that stuff in there. Yeah. A firebox, by the way, that's a safe. Did you guys know that? Yeah, I didn't even know that. I was like, a firebox? Is Lindsay Lohan involved? What does that mean? <laughs> Firebox. She said it was a safe, by the way. And that's what he told me. She goes, you got to get a safe, Matt, and put all your important documents in there, like the deed to your house and your stock certificates. And I was like, oh, she doesn't know me at all. Because <laughs> right? I'll be honest right now, I feel really bad for the thief who steals my safe. <laughs> He's going to be disappointed when he gets home. He's like, man, what's in there? Cash? Diamonds? Oh, shit, it's full of pogs and beanie babies. I got a sneak out here in a second, by the way. I know that's my phone. I set my phone to vibrate in my pocket when my time is wrapping up. I want you guys to know. I didn't get a phone call, by the way. It's very important. I want you guys to know that and I get a phone call. That'd be rude. Plus, I don't have to worry about phone calls inside any building ever because I have a shitty Sprint phone. <laughs> I'm not crazy, right? Sprint sucks. Dude, I go inside any building. I start roaming like half the time. You know how bad it is? The other day, I was roaming. I was in the Sprint store. <laughs> it's true. It's true. It's true. I wanted to call to complain about it. I don't know if you guys ever call customer solutions at Sprint. You don't get a real person on the phone. You got to talk to Claire, your virtual assistant. Yeah, I was like, that's who I get, a robot? Are you serious, a robot? I asked for the supervisor. They gave me Optimus Prime. Okay, 80s kids right over here. You guys got that. All right, nice. All right? They're just staring at me like, who the fuck is Optimus Prime? That's the leader of Transformers, man. Damn. Shit. That joke is more than meets the eye. Okay, got it, got it, got it. 